the top five swords in Assassin's Creed Mirage. Stay tuned for that. What's up, guys? My name is Frankie Boy. In this channel, I am covering everything regarding open world RPGs such as Assassin's Creed Mirage, Cyberpunk, and The Witcher. So stay for a while and listen. All right, we're gonna start off with the top five. Right into it. Top five. Number five is the Initiate of Alamut Sword. It's the fifth best sword in the game, and you get it by basically playing through the story. Why is it so nice? After parrying, your next attack deals more damage. You simply parry and then have 50% damage boost. That's quite a nice sword. It also has some decent attack and defense damage. In total, it has 130. Sum it up because it's quite interesting. I found no sword higher than 131 in total death damage and damage. Number two, the Shamshir e Zomrod Negar. It's the best free sword in my opinion, so the best sword you don't have to pay any money for. And why is it so awesome? Well, it has quite a low normal damage, but it has some insane death damage. Also, it has boost for your whole damage by 50%, not only applying to attacks, but to anything you do. Even throwing knives should do 50% more damage. And this is insane. It comes with a priced 30% health off. So your health bar is reduced, as you can see down here. That's quite sad, to be honest. But the advantage of not needing to headshot with a throwing knife is also a very nice one. So that's quite a great thing. Just keep in mind that you're squishy. How do you get it? On the map, you see all these shards you can collect like they're called mysterious shards Izu shards you get by the cult and these members carry them there are 10 in total and you carry them over to this oasis it's called northern or northern oasis and here is a secret entrance just simply enter here and there you will get it you need three of those shards sword number three is the sand sword it has a 20% healing for you but only if you kill an enemy while time is slowed so you need a slow time to actually make use out of that and you do so by the sand outfit or the sand dagger the dagger of time you have to kind of combine it to use it and it's also a microtransaction you have to buy it so it's in the store and it's called the deluxe pack or you have the deluxe edition of the base game wouldn't recommend getting it because it's expensive all right the two best swords in the game are totally overpowered both First one, we have the Lightning Sword. Every third attack deals 50 lightning damage to four nearby enemies. And the OP part about it is every third attack deals so you don't have to hit these attacks. You can even crush those attacks into an armor of an enemy. But the lightning will struck him anyways from above because it's lightning damage and it is not normal damage. So you can just like do three attacks. One, two, and there you go. It even counts as a double hit when you hit two enemies. So these are like two attacks when you hit with one strike. All right, let me clear this up. One strike hits two enemies. It counts as two hits. So you do that two times and you will get the lightning effect anyways. It's totally overpowered. It's super and crazy coming to group damage. Really overpowered. It costs five euro and comes with a also OP dagger in the pack also in the store. The best items in the game are microtransactions and that's sad, but it is that way. As for the best weapon, you guessed it. It's of course, again, a microtransaction called the Jin Sword. And it has 50% more damage on enemies with afflictions. And what this means is basically like fire or poison. And you should definitely combine it with the Jin outfits so that these afflictions last longer. But not the Jin dagger, it's crap and I wouldn't carry it anyways, but the Demon Fang, it's totally OP, so you get those enemies ablaze and they will die just to parrying. And if they don't, give them a hit with the sword, which deals 50% more damage. And the crazy thing about this is, this is a very strong sword with 78 damage. 78 damage is the max damage we right now have at swords in offensive stats. So we would just like go to this enemy and then try to parry his attack. So he now burns to death anyways, but I can just do two hits and he's dead. It's so overpowered. This combination really shreds anything Jin outfit, fang of the demon in the offhand and the Jin sword in the main hand. It will crush anyone. And you kind of don't need the sword damage at all because the burning damage of the fang and the outfit is so OP. You could also combine it of course with the lightning sword for more AoE damage effects and it's also very nice against armored enemies. 
which the dagger isn't. So this is again a microtransaction you have to pay money for. What a sad thing, I also did a huge video about microtransactions on my German channel and I said, yep, don't use it. I would totally not recommend to use that. It's in the game and it is totally broken. Do you need it? Nope. You don't need microtransactions at all. So that's a good thing, I guess. But it's in the game and you have to keep that in mind. You have to always consider there is better stuff you could get, but you don't need. To be honest, I always try to get the best gear in a game. And this kind of makes me sad if I don't have the possibility to get so uh, without money. I don't think that's a great thing, but uh, yeah, it is that way and I have no choice but to get it. I was just joking. Of course, you have a choice, but I wouldn't recommend it. Can I steal from this guy while he's lying on the ground? Uh, I, I don't think so. What a pity. Quite sure there will be another microtransaction coming soon, which I didn't consider yet. And I'm sure there won't be any free items I didn't consider yet, except for maybe like a Ubisoft Connect reward that could be possible, like they bring in some Alta Ear Sword and Dagger combination or Ezio style. But the Ezio gameplay style already is in the game for free with the uh, Initiate of Alamut outfit, the Initiate of Alamut sword and the fitting dagger. So I think we don't need that to full, fully get the gameplay style back into Baghdad because yeah in Baghdad everything is back uh, and not bugged of course hopefully uh, let me spread some noise make some noise oh that one got me Floop. got the throwing dagger that's such a nice skill to get these throwing knives ready when someone is going to detect you and I was also wondering if any of you guys uses this like this super assassination I don't use it at all right now but it's super overpowered and it also looks cool I'm not sure why I don't use it at this point because yeah I think I should definitely consider using it especially for situations like these i could like go in kill these guys and then this one is like outside of the whole pit and i can launch my attack i kill them and i get back out with ease and if i wore the fire demon outfit even no one would know i was there because this outfit actually burns the bodies i will do a top five videos on daggers i will do a top top five videos outfits of course as well so just keep your eyes on the channel i will keep you posted and uh tell you which ones are great and which ones are flooch got that one in the head got that one on the arm i think he didn't see me so and he's also bugged like lurking around the corner look at you how bad you are just losing your life using your life again flooch out of ammo too bad but i got my three knives back all right that's it for today guys i hope to see you in the next one i hope i helped you out a little bit that would be perfect i'm very sad these best items are microtransactions but if i do a top five video i have to consider the top five items and it was originally planned as a top three but then i wouldn't mention any free item at all so i decided to change it see you guys in the next one keep posted um and goodbye <laughs> Ich <lacht> <lacht>